Hi guys, it's Ian here from Recreational Power Sports, and I just wanted to walk you through a fresh trade-in that we just got in. So this is a really, really nice big fishing boat. This is a 2016 Lund 1975 Pro V. Best of the best you can get pretty much here. So I'm gonna start off just real quick with the trailer. We have the black powder-coated uh, Shorelander trailer here. It's a tandem axle that has the nice uh, diamond plating as well that we'll see when we go up. Um, starting out, we do have a folding tongue. Makes it a lot easier for storage. Really nice feature to have. Moving along, you can see we have a good spare tire here as well. Now, we don't have it on at the moment. On the front of the boat here though, there is a snap-on rock protector. So keep the front of the boat looking really nice. And that's probably part of the reason why this boat does look so pristine up front here. Now, if we look on the bow of the boat, we do have a really awesome Minn Kota Altera uh, trolling motor here. So one of the best Minn Kotas you can get. This boat is fully outkitted. It's awesome. Moving along this side, you can see the condition of the boat's really good. There's some minor rock chips and stuff here behind where that rock deflector goes. But overall, this boat's in awesome pristine shape. You'll see pop-up cleats around the boat and then we also have the rub rail all the way around. This is the diamond checkers I was talking about and then we also have the upgraded wheels on this one. Moving along you'll see just awesome awesome shape and then we also have factory load guides on this trailer. Really nice feature. Moving along to the back here, we have a really nice Mercury 225 Verado. Really gets this thing going really, really nicely. Nice big motor, awesome motor that Mercury makes. Next to it, we have a 25 horse kicker. Does have controls going all the way up to the front there. So it's really nice and easy. Now another really cool feature here, pull this guy out. And this is actually a ladder. So when people are swimming, you know, a lot of fishing boats, it's really hard to get back in once you're in the water. This one, built in ladder there that stows away when you're not using it. Really, really cool feature. Moving along the other side, you'll see again, load guide, pop-up cleats, and then awesome condition going down the side here. Now, while we're on the outside here, I'll point out, we do have a nice little enclosure here. We got the three quarter enclosure. So the back's open, but it really protects you from the elements. If you're out there and it gets a little stormy or rainy, it doesn't, it doesn't have to ruin your day. Now, if you wanna hop inside with me, we'll take a look around and you can see all the features this boat has to offer. All right, starting up here in the bow, you can see there's a lot of space, lots of room to fish. You will have your foot controls for the trolling motor. It's pretty awesome. And then you can see in front of us here, we have a nice spot for a seat. So you can mount your pedestal up here and just hang out on the bow. On either side of me here, we have quite a bit of storage on both sides, really nice. Then up front, we have two live wells here, one on each side. So you don't have to go back to the, the rear of the boat there, put your fish. Awesome, moving forward here. We have right underneath me here, we have your rod locker. So you can fit a lot of rods in there. Now coming inside here, you can see we have the enclosure up at the moment, but we do have our two nice captain's chairs here. So they both are on suspension as well. So a really nice ride while you're in the water. Now on the passenger side over here, we have a nice size glove box, put your belongings. We also have some more down here, another little glove box, cup holders. 
Now moving over to this side here, you'll see we basically have a TV in front of us here. So you have the Hummingbird Solix 12. Really awesome fish finder in here. One of the best, the best you can get. So really nice feature to have in this boat. Aside from that, we have all of our switches, our radio, and our gauges in front of us. So you can stay informed while you're on the water. Now, over to my right here, you'll see we have some storage, and then we also have our controls. One for the main engine, and then one for your kicker. Really nice setup here, easy to use no matter what, you're, what engine you're using. Now, below me here, we have a snapping carpet. So depending on who you are, some people like to have carpet in their boats, some don't, especially while fishing. So this gives you that option to do either or, it's up to you. Really easy to clean and nice on the feet as well. Now moving to the back here, you can see we have even more seats back here. So we got two, again, matching Lund seats here. They're pretty awesome. And then we move to the back here. So on either side of us, there's storage in the hull of the boat pretty much there. So you can open these up, a bimini cover in there right now, and you can put a lot of stuff in the side. That's one thing that this boat has, is a lot, a lot of storage. Now, we have another spot that you can move one of these seats to, so you can fish off the stern of your boat here. And then the biggest live well in this boat is right here. And it opens up even more. So it's really, really awesome. Here we are. Now, thanks for walking through this boat with me. If you have any questions about this one, or any others that we may have in stock here, please feel free to reach out to Recreational Power Sports online or stop on by and pay us a visit.